Oh my god, can we just take a second to appreciate how amazing Jay is? One, I'm not. Why did you go as if you were about to drive my car for me? I didn't realize that I was on the left side. <laughs> <laughs> you like look for the gear stick, like, I got this. I was looking for volume this time. Alright, okay. So, Wait, man, you can't find the door. We're at another day in England. We've done balls all today because it's six o'clock right now. We're about to go and get some Chinese food because we're absolutely fucking starving. Hands down, without a doubt, the best Chinese restaurant ever if you're in Woodley. Thoughts of the smell? It's good, we look like we're having a party, but it's just Yeah, this, we did order a shitload of food to be fair. Let's count. Jay, this is my favorite chicken of all time called salt and pepper chicken pieces. I want you to grab a piece and try it. So good. Oh my god, it's so good. That's good. Yeah? Yeah. Out of 10? Fucking 10, bro. Tell me that's not a 10. I gave Nick a 10, so. Oh, come on! I'm gonna have to give this 11. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that's right. Oh, man, it seems I cannot avoid drama. Now, this is actually the next day, and I've already recorded this entire story of what happened, but I'm just gonna go over it again today just because there's a resolve to the situation. But in summary, I was getting sued by Domino's Pizza yesterday because uh, when the Conor McGregor fight was going on, I ordered pizza up to my house, I ate my pizza, I paid for it by a credit card, everything was absolutely fine. Because I was throwing a pie at my house and there's a, bo a bunch of people around at my house and loads of random people, they ordered pizza up to the house as well, not by my credit card, nothing to do with me, they just ordered food to my house. Now, the driver who came and dropped off the food, dropped off the pizza, but didn't take the money. No one, I don't know what, what happened, why he didn't get paid, why he didn't take his money or what, what, what. But anyway, the next day, like 8 p.m., I get a knock at my door and Domino's Pizza guy turns up and he's like, I want my money. And I'm like, I paid my card. And he was like, he's like, no, there's another order that I didn't get paid for. And I'm like, okay, uh, I didn't order the pizza. I don't know who ordered the pizza, so I don't know what I can do for you. And he's like, well, you need to owe me the money because it's your house. And I was like, well, if someone ordered like a thousand pounds worth of beer to this house and it wasn't mine, I'm not gonna pay for it. You know, it just doesn't make sense. So the guy was demanding and like shouting that I gave him the money for this pizza. So I explained to the guy like, listen, I'd send a message to the people around at the house. If someone owns up for ordering the pizzas, I'll make sure I get the money and drop it off. And he was like, no, I'm not leaving without the money. And I was like, okay, dude, we're not gonna get anywhere. Get your manager on the phone. I spoke to his manager on the phone and he was like, um, he was like, okay, I'll deal with this. So the manager disappeared and I was like, I guess everything is solid. I might get a phone call just saying if I can get a hold of the money, please bring it to the store. I would have no problem doing it. Whilst I was at the door, I had the guy ring me in front of me. He rang me twice and my phone went off and I asked the delivery driver, is this you ringing me? And he was like, yeah, that's the number I have on your account. I was like, yes, because it's my house, my address, that's probably why. The guy disappeared and there's me thinking that is everything taken care of. So obviously that's not the case. About two hours later, I'm chilling out watching TV and I receive a text saying this, okay, we will go in civil court. I need my money and then my full address. And I'm like, what is this, some sort of troll or something? And then I get another text saying, I will see you in civil court, bye. And I'm like, some troll's got my number, just fucking with me or something like that. And I realized the number at the top looked familiar. And I was like, wait a minute, is that the same number of the delivery driver who rang me? And it turns out it was. So I'm like, hang on a minute, I've got the delivery guy from Domino's texting me on my personal number, threatening me with my address, saying that he's gonna take me to court over the pizza that wasn't paid for. Like, there's no way that this is like Domino's procedure to get money for this sort of situation. So I was like, there's no point in me dealing with this driver. I'm just gonna deal with the uh, the manager instead. So the manager just told, just told me to ignore any texts of him and that he'd handle the situation and that all he could do was apologize. Can I send him the message of all the texts between us? And I sent him everything and he was just like, yeah, this is outrageous. Again, like if I could have just given him the money, I absolutely would have done. But as you guys saw in like the vlog today, we went and got Chinese food and I went and got cash from the Chinese, for the, from the cash machine to pay for the Chinese food. So I didn't have any fucking money on me because I just bloody spent it. So really shitty situation, but Sammy the manager was dead cool and hit me up and was like, listen, sorry about the inconvenience. Um, don't listen to what he said. Um, just ignore him sort of thing. And next time you order, we'll give you a full free meal for your, uh, like you and your friends sort of thing. So I was like, appreciate that. Sorry for an inconvenience. Again, if we do find out who owes the money, we'll make sure we run it in. And he was like, I appreciate that. So yeah, that's the situation of me getting sued by Domino. So well, me and Jeff were talking about uh, conspiracy theories, like no joke, just like, you know, just like interesting stuff. And Jeff, what is this? Zeitgeist. Search Zeitgeist on YouTube. How do you spell that? Z-E-I-T-G-E-I-S-T. 
G-E-I-S-T. I'm watching this right now and it's talking about religion and all this sort of stuff and like the stars and how like the one true God like this is stuff that you don't talk about on like YouTube being like like you know like religion and politics and stuff like very controversial yeah but just for the sake of this like I'm open minded to anything but what I'm watching right now my mind is being blown please go and watch it it's like a it's like a two hour it's like a two hour yeah yeah it's interesting to see it like yeah you can question anything like but it's the stuff that's being said is just like it's mind blowing like either coincidence or like whatever because no one can ever like officially 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 prove anything about anything so it's all theory yeah it's all theory but it's a good fucking theory so if you want to go watch it like watch it or i'll put it in the description but he's sat here watching laughing at me because my mind is getting blown every like 10 seconds here so <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for some dankness, dude? Wait, let me restart it. Will this work? Come on, let this work. Jeff told me he had a YouTube channel, and I'm trying to watch what his first video is. <laughs> I want to see. The, I want to see the intro. Yeah, the intro was cool. Let me see this I, bitch. I wouldn't use the same one anymore. Let's do this. Oh, dude, that's dope. That's fucking cool. Oh shit, Jeff, what up? You did this all on your iPhone? Yeah, 4S. Dude, I told you iPhones are the way to go. This is the first video like, I ever really made. Whoa. Watch, it gets better. It gets Camel. Better. It gets better, it gets better. Right here, watch, watch. This is like the song in a moment out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, watch it though, it's dope. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. oh, you added the slow-mo effects! Holy shit, Jeff. Oh, we missed Jeff getting on couch. You can snowboard? Yeah, indoors. No, I mean, you can. You know how to oh, snowboard? Yeah, know how to Dude, Jeff, me and Jeff were made to find each other as friends. This guy goes snowboarding. He goes, I've done, I've done dune boogieing as well. We need to go. We're talking about going to Dubai for New Year's this year. And done. Took me like an hour and a half, but I managed to go through all the videos on my phone and organize the tour clips so if i ever want to do anything epic with it like throw it at an editor and turn it into like an epic montage movie thing i can do and my entire life of tom tour is now on this hard drive would you like it jeff well you can't have it you have to subscribe to syndicate central you little bitch now my memory is now my what my memory I was gonna say memory bank, so it's now my memory bank. Videos will stay on here and I can look back on them whenever because I just don't trust leaving an iPhone lying around because you'll probably reset it and then lose all the footage. I don't like using iCloud storage, so this is my little, my little memory bank. All right, we're about to start watching Power, like the TV show. He's never seen it, I've never seen it, so we're starting to watch it. And he tells me, you made the fucking box art for 50 Cent Bulletproof. You made that. Yeah, along with all this other stuff. This is um Dude, like, you've got such so, a selection. So far. You did so far! What? Cleveland show, this is <laughs> You did X-Men Origin? Oh man, it's six o'clock in the morning. I accidentally fell asleep on the sofa. Me and Jeff were watching Power, but I passed out. Oh well half my day's already gone. <laughs> it's daytime outside. So I'm gonna get to bed. <sighs> Now, before I actually do fully end today's video, I need to let you guys know that I am done with the life of Tom Tor. It was amazing. It was so nice to meet so many of you guys. Like, when you, like, look at your views on YouTube, you're like, that's a number. And it, you really do lose sight of it being, like, an actual person you're making the videos for. So going on that tour just like proper brought me back down to earth to be like, this is fucking cool. This is why I love doing this job. And it was just so nice to meet so many of you people. Like the stories I heard, the letters I've got, I'm still reading through all the letters you guys gave me. So it's really ridiculous the amount I get. Like, thank you so much for everyone who, who came to the meet and greets. And to everyone who couldn't make it, it would have been very nice to meet you anyway, but if you couldn't make it, it's absolutely fine, don't panic. But if you do still want to be able to meet me, I'm going to be going to events across the UK over the next like two months. So I'm going to be going to I-58, which is like in three days or so. So if you're going there, I'll see you there. It's going to be awesome. And also Eurogamer EGX. So if you guys want to go to them, I'm going to put links down in the description to where you can buy the tickets. And I'll also put underneath them where you can get like a discount code. So we hooked you up to like save you a little bit of money. So hopefully I get to meet you guys there if I didn't get to meet you in person. If I did meet you in person and you're still going there anyway, it'll be a pleasure to meet you again. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun to go to even more events and do even more meetups. So yeah. Bring it on, mother truckers. And by the way, for everybody asking about the pop figures and where they are, these are pretty much bags containing tons of them. Wait, can I get, can I find one? 
If I can find one and just put it on the shelf now to add to the collection, can I feel one? Just to add to the collection, I can prove to you guys that this is what's going on. Oh, there you go. All right, so everyone's been asking me like crazy, where the hell am I gonna do the video of putting them all on the shelf? And that is because I'm not, oh, there's my friend's shoes. Sorry, he lost them at the house party that I had the other day. But everyone's been asking where the pop figures are and when, when I'm gonna put it all on the shelf. And I'm gonna put them on as soon as possible. So, as soon as possible, meaning today, but that's gonna be in tomorrow's vlog. So you guys get a teaser in today's vlog of tomorrow of me putting this one on the shelf, which is obviously not gonna go there because it's too big. But, there you go. I've got, as it stands, oh shit. As it stands right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I've got 21 there, and I probably collected about 30 on the trip. So we should be able to fill up this and all of this. So tomorrow, you'll wait and see all of the Pop Figure Army grow.